What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W and today we're going to go over a day trading recap and I actually have a live glitch recorded. Check it out. All right guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this day here. Um, let's see here. SPCB uh, is a stock that right now PCB is it's been halted a lot these halts are killing the moves on these penny stocks they really are they're just being so so difficult uh, it kills the momentum tremendously uh, I mean like here sure you had a real nice move but you know like look at this halt right here bam halt and it just stuffed it right there and on the daily on the daily let's see here i mean honestly on the daily it had a little room over two bucks had it popped over two bucks we had some room we had some room to about 250 so it had some room but these halts just they're 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 momentum killers they're really momentum killers uh so you had spcb there uh then you have tops tops which has made a real big move Look at this tops, man, from 20 something cents. Golly, all the way up here to 50 something. If you would have been in a swing trade on this thing from, from a couple days ago, golly, look at that move. That's a monstrous move. I mean, you would think, oh, but it's just 50 cent stock. Yeah, but if you were like, hey, you know what? This thing's based out here at 8 cents and jumped in here for a swing trade, you know? Look at that. Bang, you would have woken up to some bank. Um, makes you think, huh? Things that make you say, huh? But uh, I didn't trade any of those. I really didn't trade any of those today. Um, I traded uh, Boeing. I traded Boeing and I had a pretty good trade on this. I had a really... Why is this not... Okay. So I had a really good trade on this. I took two trades on it. Okay. I took two trades on it. Uh, the first one would have been the best one had I kept it a little bit longer. But I exited and I exited because when I opened up my platform, I actually opened up on my long term uh, account on my not my retirement account, but like my long term swing account. It's an account that I have where I'm holding uh, a few good companies like Disney and Boeing for potentially three to five years, maybe 10 if needed. Uh, so those are long term swings that I have going on on you know quality companies. And when I opened up, I opened up on that account, my my platform. And I, whoops, right, man, I don't, this thing doesn't want to cooperate. So Boeing opens up and dumps. I waited. And when we had this VWAP projection, I bought a put contract there. And when I looked, it was in that account. And I was like, damn, that's not my day trading account. You know, I didn't, I didn't want it there. So I got a little, a little frustrated there. And as soon as we came down here, I exited, made a couple bucks, nothing huge. I exited because I didn't want to take the trade there. I wanted to be able to, you know, record the trade uh, with a clean screen and not a whole bunch of stocks there. Uh, so I didn't want to do that. And uh, we, you know, we quickly made this new low here, bounced back up. And then when we got here in front of this 90 MA, I bought another put there in my day trading account. And that was like a starter. I was looking to see we were going to maybe pierce the 90 MA, go to VWAP and then reject, you know, like kind of like a fake out. And I was going to buy another put there. So that was my plan. Um, we didn't do that. We didn't do that. So I just kept my one put. And we got down here. And when we got down here on this candle here, like this doji candle, I believe it was. My, plat my platform froze. My platform froze. Like you'll see it. It's recorded. And I'm very not happy with uh, Charles Schwab at the moment because of that issue right there oh could you even see those candles yeah yeah you could no you couldn't see them okay so let's do it here so this is the first there we go this is the first tr trade right here and then this is the second trade right here in front of this 90 ma i was looking for it to pierce it go to vwap reject and then i would add a second contract it didn't do that so i just kept my first okay and then on this candle right here my platform froze all right, and it, I'm really not happy. So let's go ahead and bring up the recording. Let's see, it should be this one if I'm not mistaken. 
Oh no. I don't think it's this one. And I have no trade on aim. Oh, I know why I recorded that one. I'm not gonna tell you. Well, I'm not gonna show you. I recorded that one for that that video guys asked me to do, which is the video on level two. So that one is recorded for that. No trade on it, but I was watching level two and I caught kind of what I wanted for the lesson. So uh, we're gonna save that there to the side. Sneaky, sneaky. So um, here we go. Okay, so I'm in my one put, okay? I was looking to see if, you know, we might creep it up here, pierce the 90 and may test VWAP. I'd expect a rejection on VWAP, totally, totally rejection on VWAP, and I'd add my second put there. This is a starter. I was gonna add my second here, okay? And then, you know, hold for that new low of day test. Um, but we didn't get it. We didn't get it, so I just held on to my one put. Okay, now I'm in this at 1302. Okay, we get that push down there. It's weak, it rejects. Watch, watch this. Pretty sure it's in this video where we get where it freezes on me. And here I am, I'm you know switching back to level two so I can see what's going on. Uh, on time and sales as we get down here see because what I'm looking for is if we get down here to the low of day I'm looking to see if we're gonna get a lot of red here I want to see a lot of selling I want to see a lot of people stopping out a little early that might have bought in here with this as their stop and and I'm, I want to see red because if I see a lot of red here it means we should crack and make a new low of day okay and that's what we want I want a new low of day I switch back over we make our new low Want to see where, where those options are popping off at? Now, where's my daily? Let me show you the daily real quick. Because this is all things that are happening during the trade. I'm looking at the daily. I'm looking at my time in sales. Uh, you know, I'm looking at the overall chart, of course. And here we go. So I'm looking at this low right here at 140. 139, 140. Okay, I'm looking at that. I'm looking for us to break that. And maybe if we break that, we might get a chance to fill the gap. Now, I'm not going to hold. This is why I wanted two contracts. Because from the start, this was my idea. I would sell one contract here, hold on to the other one, and maybe even make a swing trade out of it overnight. Looking to see if we fill that gap. But I only have one contract. So I'm going to be forced to take profit you know, somewhere in the in the gap. Maybe 139, maybe 138, 137. I'm going to be forced to take profit there because I only have one contract. So we're popping off at 142 there. Let me get this little thing. And there we go. We, we make the new low. We go test that 140 area. Okay. Look at this. Did you see that? Did you catch that? Look at my time in sales. Where, where's, where is it? Where is it? There's no, no orders going off. I'm looking at everything else and I'm like, what happened here? Did somebody freeze the stock market? Like, what is going on? And I realized that my platform, I mean, I knew the stock market wasn't frozen because we're, you know, there was no uh, circuit breaker uh, on the spy or on the market itself. So I'm like, what is happening here? And I'm not, and then we get that. Chart. What is this chart that is currently unavailable or invalid symbol? I'm pretty damn sure BA is not an invalid symbol. So now I'm not happy at all. So I exit and then I bring back. Okay, here we go. That's my, that's my chart right there. Well, that's my actual account right there. Then I come back. And as I come back, you know, we're popping off down here at 141s. Look at that. I was up at one point, like 170 bucks, I think it was. Look at that. We're at 140, you know, on there. But I'm I'm shook now, right? I can't, there was no chance at putting out a limit order. I'm still trying to get into my put section there, my my options. I couldn't put out a limit order. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Like, right? At this point, I don't know what's going on. I had to restart my whole system. So... Not my computer, just the, just the platform, just the street smart. So I come in here and this is the action that we're getting. Remember, we went down there to test that kind of like that low area on the daily that we need a break in order to get into the gap for a gap fill to the downside. We tested it and we're bouncing off of it kind of aggressively. So I'm like, well, damn, man, like, these people cost me money here. I couldn't put out an order to sell if I wanted. Uh, I couldn't do anything like 
I had to restart the whole system. I couldn't watch my time in sales to see you know, what kind of action we were getting when we got down there. Did I see a lot of green on the tape? Did I see a lot of red on the tape? What was happening when we were down there? I don't know. I have no idea what happened down here. I don't know. Was there a huge bid that popped up maybe on the level two? I don't know. I, there's no way for me to know because I had to restart my system. And, you know, it's frustrating. It's frustrating because when you're right, you expect to get paid. But when you're wrong, you expect to lose money. And I didn't lose money here in a sense because it's a green trade. But I lost a lot of profit I could have made because I couldn't have access to my system. And that's not my fault. You know, if it's my fault, if I'm wrong, I expect to lose money and be, and be you know, punished. But if I'm right, I expect to be rewarded with my paycheck. So that's the action we get, right? We get, we get a doji off of that low, okay? We get a doji off of that low, an aggressive candle with a, with a higher low. So I exit. I exit it right there. I made 57 bucks. I mean, you know, between that trade and the first one, I'm almost $100 in the day. But come on, man. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not mad I made 100 bucks in the day, let's say. I'm not mad about that, you know. But any day you make 100 bucks to me is a good day. It's a good day. But I could have made so much more and it wasn't my fault. It was the glitch in the system. And that is what really, really gets to me. That I think that makes me more mad than having a red day when it's my fault. When it's my fault, it's my fault. I'm red and I'm mad at myself and, I'm, and I try to study and see what I did wrong, if I did something wrong uh, or when I do something wrong, right? Because some, sometimes the trade just doesn't work out and that's, not, that's no one's fault. But when it's a glitch system like this, like, you know, it really, really gets to you. I mean, at least to me because... Trading is hard enough as it is, and when we're right, we should be paid. When we're wrong, we're going to lose money. And if we're right on this one, and we could have made a good money, and then tomorrow we're wrong, and we lose money, right? It's not going to compensate, because I didn't make all the money I could have made on this trade. So it's not going to balance out uh, on, on average, right? Because we're this is statistics. And that's, and that's my problem when we have things like this happen. Uh... Ever since these brokers went with their free commissions, these platforms have gone to complete trash. And what I've noticed is they want you to use their web platforms, which are garbage. Uh, that's it, guys. I mean, the, the trades were clean, as you see. Um, let me see here. Can I get to my... Is this my regular? I don't even... Okay, so yeah, this is my platform. Um, as you see, we bounced off of that low, rejected 90 MA, came back to test it, kind of double bottomed i guess you'd want to say came up to vwap tested and now we're just trading in this range here i expect ba to probably gap down tomorrow um will i swing on a put maybe let's see how the day goes i don't you know i'm gonna keep an eye on it maybe i'll swing a put or not um i do have some ideas uh with some of these big stocks if we get a real a real nasty red week this week i might buy some uh with a bigger size for a, maybe a shorter term swing uh on the month uh maybe you know like a month hold or if i mean whenever the profit target gets hit honestly uh, and take a little bit bigger size, but not with, you know, not with a huge outlook. Uh, you know, it's just a, an idea. I, I might do it. I might not do it. Uh, regardless, I'll continue, you know, putting out the videos and trading. Uh, no futures trades today so far for me. Uh, SPY um, actually had a pretty nice uh, morning here, as you can see. We're up here testing these 260 areas, 258 and stuff. So keep an eye on the market. I I think it should go red mid to late in the week. Um, but we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that and see what it wants to do. Let me show you the, the daily. Here's the daily. Here's our low. Uh, we're up here consolidating here. I'm really thinking that we'll come back down here uh, and maybe test, you know, it looks like a far, like it's far away. To come all the way back down here to test these 220s. Um, I don't think it's out of the question. I really don't. But realistically, I think we might just come down here and test these 240s and hold these maybe. It just has a lot to do now with with, with the virus. Because the stimulus package passed. Uh, it's out there. So that's done. We don't have any more financial news for now. Um, now it's all about health-related news. So... It's anybody's guess what's going to happen. So we'll keep an eye on things. I'm hoping we do get a little dip here and there so I can add some more to my long-term stuff. Um, not so much my retirement account. I'm, just, I'm always adding on that, always, no matter what. Uh, but my my short-term or my long-term swing account, there we go. You know, the one that I have with three to five to max 10 years time horizon on, uh, I'd like to add some more there because I, I don't have my full size. I only have a few shares 
of Boeing, a few shares of Disney, and I'd like some more, especially of Boeing. Uh, and I'd like to maybe add another company. But guys, that's it for me today. I'm not going to ramble on any longer. Let me know how you did. Drop it in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button for me. And I'll catch you on the next one.